I think it's so cool that we can bring the anatomy and simulation together with a product like these exactly RFID right. tags. So that's exactly let's right. Let's tag up that, uh, that yeah. torso. So this is the lung um, right lower. Okay. So if I put that on this torso or if I put it on a static mannequin and then took the sim scope, which, which looks like pretty much like a regular stethoscope, program that to listen for w crackles in the lung, yeah. I could then go over here auscultate and I'm going to hear that yeah. versus and it's, it would work great also in a standardized patient program you could put these onto a t-shirt or use our sim shirt and so a standardized patient could truly exhibit yeah. um, abnormalities lung abnormalities um, by programming the sim scope to play those sounds it's really cool yeah and I think what's fun again to bring the anatomy back into it is you know, when you're having students do the auscultation and saying, hey, you know, I'm, I'm picking up some lung crackle here, we can take the lung apart and we can dive deeper into the understanding of the anatomical structures and ask questions like, you know, what leads to congestion in the lungs? What leads to these types of sounds on an anatomical level? Yep. And, yep. Um, so we can really bring both halves of um, education together between yeah. anatomy and sim. Um, and the RFID tags make that so cool. Absolutely. Absolutely.